Thanks for joining us on America Tonight. I'm Joey Chen. What we want for our most fragile elderly or others who need nursing home care is a safe and healthy environment. But too often we've seen that ends up not being the case where care homes end up being anything but. Well, now add to that heartbreak a state law designed to improve the quality of care in nursing homes, but with funds that end up being redirected to projects that in no way protect those most vulnerable patients. It is an outrage and a tragedy that America Tonight's Sheila McVicker investigated in Florida. When the Palms of Sebring wanted to create what it calls loving home environments for its elderly residents, the state of Florida gave the nursing home more than $123,000. That money came from a special trust fund intended to improve care for nursing home residents. So how did the for-profit nursing home in South Florida spend it? Not on extra staff or better housekeeping, but on a redecorating spree that included chandeliers, clear front refrigerators, new table linens, and ice cream machines. I think it's, it borders on malfeasance by the state because of writing checks to uh, the nursing home industry, not holding them accountable how they're using this money. Many of them are not Brian Lee is executive director of the nonprofit Families for Better Care in Tallahassee. He says the trust fund has underwritten a number of building projects. You see nursing homes that are building verandas, gazebos, sidewalks, jogging trails, fish ponds. That to me, smells of a capital improvement project because it's adding value to the nursing home and those are permanent fixtures and placements. I don't see how that helps in the care for residents. It does not help for the care for residents. Federal regulators seem to agree. Eight years after receiving a state grant, the Palms of Sebring is rated below average by Medicare. Far from creating loving home environments, Last year, inspectors cited the Palms of Sebring for failing to treat its residents with dignity and respect. And since 2012, the nursing home has paid $71,000 in federal fines for health violations. In 2005, Florida lawmakers created the Quality of Long-Term Care Facility Improvement Trust Fund. According to the law, the fund is supposed to, quote, support activities and programs related directly to the improvement of care for residents, not the capital improvement of properties. Since then, the state has given nursing homes more than $3 million, often for renovations and decorating. Meanwhile, nearly one in every six Florida nursing homes, 118 nursing homes in all, is on the state watch list as not meeting minimum standards for care. He died a terrible death. He suffered. Yes. I seen it with my own eyes, yes. and I hate that. Debbie Dahmer's father, George, was a professional wrestler known to the world as Chief White Owl. He was a very loving, caring father all his life. After George Dahmer went to a nursing home, daughter Debbie says his health went downhill fast. He suffered from terrible bed sores. His dentures went missing. He lost weight, 32 pounds, in eight weeks. And she says he injured both shoulders when nursing home personnel dropped him. When he walked in there, he could talk, walk, feed himself, you know. When he got out of the place, it was a total nightmare. Dehydration, malnutrition, bed sores. When George Dahmer died in 2008, the family sued. And last year, after a five-year legal battle, a jury awarded the family more than $700,000 in punitive damages from the nursing home. That's when the Dahmer family learned something else about that state trust fund. They were required to give half the award, more than $350,000, to the Florida State Agency, which administers the fund. 50% goes to the Agency for Healthcare Administration. Did you know that that was gonna happen? That the no. jury would, whatever the jury awarded your family, that 50% would go back to the state, no. to nursing homes? You no. did not know? No neither the family, the jurors, or anything. In fact, the law specifies that juries should not be told how the money is divided. The Dahmer's check went to this state agency, which uses punitive damages like those awarded the Dahmer's and federal fines against nursing homes to endow the trust fund. I find it kind of odd that 
families who are being awarded a sum of money because of the neglect or the treatment that a loved one received in a nursing home then have to turn around to give money back to the state, which then gives it to a nursing homes. Yeah. Uh, it's really an, it's an, abom it's an abomination that's occurring. Lee cites several examples he considers abuse of the Long Care Trust Fund. It awarded a nursing home now called Brownwood Care Center in Wildwood, another lowly rated facility, more than $176,000. The nursing home's grant called for neighborhood kitchens, including $81,000 for tables, $20,000 for curtains, and $10,000 for a putt-putt golf area. And then in Orlando, the Terra Vista Rehabilitation Center received more than $126,000 for a dining program designed to enhance nutrition intake, including a breakfast nook and a sports bar area. Yet in 2014, federal inspectors fined Terra Vista for failing to assist residents with eating, drinking, grooming, and personal hygiene needs. Remember, the law intended the fund to go to patient care, Things like mentoring programs, specialty training for staff working with residents with Alzheimer's and other dementias, and helping address special needs of residents. Those who ask the questions, they can't get answers because it's so shrouded by, by the agency. Lee is a former nursing home ombudsman for the state of Florida. While in office, he tried to get to the bottom of how nursing homes were using the trust fund money. One of the nursing homes we deliberately plan to visit was a nursing home that was listed as receiving an allocation of near $28,000 to purchase a bread maker, crock pot, to build a snack wall, which shouldn't cost that much money. So we wanted to look for those things. We expected to see a crock pot full of soup or some good stew. We s expected to smell the aroma of some nice baked bread walking in the nursing home. What did you find? Uh, when we walked in, the doors opened, and we were bowled over by the smell of urine and feces. It was terrible. We contacted the three nursing homes mentioned in the story, but none agreed to speak with us. In a statement, Florida's Agency for Healthcare Administration defended the grants, saying that under its rules, funds may be used to improve quality of resident life. It added, during the past decade, Recipients have built cyber cafes, sports-themed lounges, miniature golf courses, and renovated dining areas. All of these projects share the goal of improving resident care and quality of life beyond the minimum standards. America Tonight's Sheila McVicker is with us now. It seems like part of the issue here is one of transparency. Where does this money go? Who gets it? You're exactly right. And in fact, we asked to sit down with the Florida agency that is responsible for giving out these funds. Not only did they decline to give us an interview, when we asked them to provide us with their transaction reports, which should be literally a question of a balance sheet, money in, money out, money in, money out, we were told it would cost more than $1,000 to have them prepare that document for us. So that didn't happen. Let's talk, though, about how this money has been used. You know, I suppose there are people who would argue, look, why shouldn't you have a chandelier for a nursing home? Why shouldn't you create a more pleasant environment for those who are patients? Absolutely. There? But remember, we're talking about for-profit nursing homes. We're talking about privately owned nursing homes. And so those kind of improvements, whether you're talking about a putt-putt golf course or a better looking dining room, go to improve the value of the owner's interest in the property. Now. That can be an okay thing if it really does help the residents. If, if the residents, in fact, have better care. And that's what this fund is supposed to be all about. It's supposed to be a, about providing better care, providing better training, more training for staff. And instead, what it's going to, most often, are capital improvements like chandeliers, like fish ponds like putt-putt golf courses, which in and of themselves are not necessarily a bad thing, but clearly as the federal government has found repeatedly when they go back and they reevaluate these places after the grants have been awarded, after the money has been spent, after the chandeliers have been installed, they find there are still huge deficiencies in resident care, health care violations. And that's where the money is not making a difference. This is a fund of millions of dollars. It really could make a difference to residents of Florida nursing homes. To protect them in some way better. America Tonight, Sheila McVicker, thank you.
Next year, we shift from the abuse of the system by care homes to a bid to provide safe haven in a tiny way. Later, some of the most vulnerable Americans seeking shelter imagine teenagers trying to find their way to home on their own in the other America.